Hello, it's another hospital appointment day here. We've got to go in about 25 minutes. I was about to make a packed lunch this very moment, but then I felt the bread and it's stale. So now I'm not making a packed lunch. It's gonna be a raid the cupboard for snacky bits day instead. It's not forecast to rain, but it looks like it's going to, so I think we might be christening those new umbrellas today. Oh dear, not the healthiest selection. The problem I'm finding with my teenager, and I don't know if you've found the same thing if you have a teenager, is that she's growth spurting and therefore continuously hungry. And she sneaks down and raids the cupboards and, you know, satisfies her calorific needs from the cupboards without telling me what she's eaten and so then I open the cupboard expecting to find those packets of crackers or whatever the item is only to find that it's gone <laughs> wasn't long to wait, there it is, look. For us, the bus is about twice as expensive as the train, because we got a family and friends rail card for the train, so we get a third off, but not so on the buses. The bus is empty now, so I can get my camera out. <laughs> my big camera, anyway. That was a big bump. There's the hospital there. Aww. They're off the bus. Mm -hmm. They're heading in. He had a genius idea, which was to video screen record her screen online earlier to get the maths lesson offline so she could watch it just out of her photo album on the go. All done and off home again. Didn't have to wait long today. Here's the bus. Yay! There's a helicopter for some reason. Scare me, not gonna lie. What is that then? I don't know, it just doesn't seem as reliable. We're back, we've had lunch, and I've managed to get myself into a big maths mess. I need to sort Izzy's folder out and work out what she needs to do next. I'm making coffee. Do you know I forgot to update you about going to dermatology. Not really much to say really, it's kind of business as usual. Everything's tickety-boo, the blood tests came back fine. Dupilumab, the revolutionary new medication for eczema, only just licensed in under 18s in Wales, is still not available in a self-injection pen form, so we still can't have it. So we're still waiting for that. So we're just going to carry on as we are. He thinks maybe she might get less and less side effects from the current injections that she's having and it's very encouraging that she didn't have it this time. Really encouraging. I did ask him also, will she be more susceptible to the coronavirus? And he said no. If she did happen to get it and happen to get a fever, she needs to stop her medication until it's passed. And that's all really. Other than that, there's nothing different from normal people. I've just added a few more tabs to the maths folder. Izzy's had a bit of a maths binge last week and this weekend, well this Sunday and yesterday and now I've got this enormous mountain of sheets and I need to file them and mark them and work out where we are. It does mound up pretty quickly if you don't keep on it every day. For some random reason she's been writing up coordinates notes without graph paper but I've uh, sent her upstairs with some now. I'm two coffees in now. It literally took my eye off this for last week while we were so busy. I have finished sorting out the maths folder and it is now gone 6 o'clock in the evening. I haven't started my flute practice yet. There are just 
so many loose ends in there, little things that she's tagged up that we're going to have to have the maths tutor. So I've booked her for tomorrow morning. She's going to come and hopefully go through everything that's left. And then we can hopefully make a fresh start thereafter. She is. <laughs> I did all of that. Did you? Yes. Or are you going to whip out a load more for? <laughs> no, I think you're done for the day now. I know it's late. But I need candy crush therapy after all that maths. I also need a fresh coffee and leftover birthday chocolates, which are getting quite old now. And I've got that many left. Hey, but look, speaking of chocolates. Ooh, 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 I did rather well last week. Had some thank yous for the turkey legs and other things. Look, two lots. I'm very pleased with that. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Take that candy. I have now crushed candy and demathed. Mm. I'm going to go down into Flute Cave now, get my flute out and start doing some work towards my gigs this coming weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!